This server can perform massive fluid dynamic simulations at a higher level of detail than we've seen before on a single node. I'm going to show you several simulations in the range of billions of cells per frame. We'll experience the future of high performance computing with a computational fluid dynamics code, FluidX3D. This simulation software, developed by Dr. Moritz Lehmann, uses the Lattice Boltzmann method and is available on GitHub. The software is great for resolving turbulences volumetrically, and as we'll see, the Intel Xeon 6900 series with P-Cores is a fantastic option for CFD. This Lattice Boltzmann method shows impressive performance gains with high memory bandwidth and capacity. And that's where Intel Xeon 6 comes in. So let's jump in. Right here, we have a simulation running live on a single two socket server in our data center using these latest processors. Let's rotate to a top down view so we can see the fluid flow more effectively. This is a low resolution preview of the fluid flow around an airplane model. As you can see, those vortices are coming off the back of the airplane's wings. We ran a simulation using a classic truck model here in the upper right. The truck is from a time before automakers focused on aerodynamic optimizations and therefore has significant drag, making the simulation visually interesting. Intel is improving core architecture and SOC design with Intel Xeon 6, but we've also made some important I.O. upgrades which benefit this HPC code. First, the updated memory controller provides increased memory bandwidth. These processors support 12 channels per socket, allowing us to use multi-rank buffer DIMMs, or MR DIMMs. The resulting increase in throughput and simulation size for the CFD code are impressive. Intel innovated with ecosystem partners SK Hynix, Samsung, and Micron on this memory tech, providing more capacity and bandwidth without requiring an increased number of memory modules on the server board. These memory and I.O. updates, combined with the increased core count and improved frequency, allow us to run this massive 42.7 billion cell simulation of the NASA X-59 jet on a single two-socket node. Previously, a simulation like this on a single node would be impractical. We achieved up to 1.2 terabytes per second of memory bandwidth while performing the simulation that you see right here. Now, let's take a look at a comparison. Here, we performed a 4.3 billion cell simulation on both Xeon 6 and 5th gen Xeon Platinum for comparison purposes. You can see that the Intel Xeon 6979P server is finished. It takes only 23 hours and 10 minutes, whereas the Intel Xeon Platinum 8592 Plus is still processing. That's up to a 1.8x improvement gen on gen. As you've seen, FluidX3D is a fast and memory efficient Lattice Boltzmann CFD software using OpenCL. This software highlights the new architecture enhancements of Xeon 6, utilizing the server to its full extent with AVX512 on all cores. And it can saturate the full available memory capacity. Previous hardware could not hold such large simulation models while still offering reasonable runtimes and energy consumption. Let's look at one more simulation here. In addition, the large upgradable DDR5 unified memory pool allows for much larger ray traced single domain simulations that would not fit in a GPU's VRAM, such as this water droplet simulation we see here. Researchers can dive even deeper using point probes to examine individual areas of interest in more detail. We've truly tested the limits of our new server using this HPC workload. These CPUs supporting 12 channel memory bandwidth will be available from a wide array of system integrator partners and OEMs. Developers like you can use Xeon 6 to accelerate workloads which use OpenCL and AVX512, just like this one. Intel Xeon 6900 series with P-Cores is a great platform for your HPC code.